I don't think anything's been done, if I'm brutally honest. I really mm -hmm. don't. Just think about the amount of people that haven't been diagnosed with mesothelioma. Mm -hmm. Or because, I mean, I was a lucky one, I fell off a building. You know, I was yeah. an accidental die. I got diagnosed accidentally. But the people that aren't now, like, not going to get that. And if I'm brutally honest, the government is just pushing everything under the carpet. This is my opinion. They'll, chuck you, they'll, they'll bung you a few quid to keep you happy. And that's it. Schools and hospitals, don't just board it up. Don't just block it off where people, you know, out of sight, out of, sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Don't work. So, yeah. And this is going to affect not only my children, it's going to affect theirs as well. Mm -hmm. And it, it will never stop. And I would walk into that House of Commons and I, I would tell him straight, tell them all straight, it's not likely if it happened to any of their family. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got to try and put their, put, their, put their feet in our shoes. You know, people have to deal with it every day. Um, and at some point, my kids will have to deal with it. <clears throat> Brian, I have to tell the kids of the dad and dad in coming home today. You know, 